Soul Tribe. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. How are you guys? Yeah, it's been a minute. My name is Khalila Joy. Of course, the name of my channel is Joy Says Healing 22. We'll be here to heal, grow, learn, talk about love, money, life, overall foundation, self-growth, etc. If you want to, maybe one day I'll start talking about accounting and business and giving y'all some tips. That's if you ask me. I just need y'all to help me grow the channel pretty much all over the place of all kind of content so i'm just gonna let it go with the flow and plus this is like an artistic outlet and a service to my community of course to those who have been watching me or even know me i uh own a, a community business center and i'm currently at my building right now and so it's kind of slow before things get busy which is usually in the afternoon I uh, figure I'll tap on in and get do some spiritual news and see what the Holy Spirit got to tell us. And the ancestors want us to know. So let's, let us pray. Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit of ancestors, we thank you for these messages. We thank you for the blessings. We thank you for the lessons. We thank you for the white light of protection. We ask all dark entities to remove yourself. You are now welcome here. <sighs> Amen. Thank you so much. What is the messages that you have for us regarding our overall foundation, money, and um, love? We got abundance. So clearly some of you guys are abundant, ground, are getting grounded, about to become even more abundant. Patience, okay, you got patience for your money. Now, all these cards was upright. Oh, my God. I think I had this message the other day, but I didn't write it. Guilt. Guilt is the overall it, underlying energy. You have abundance. I am limit. I'm a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Now, I do sell candles and stuff like that, but I have not been able to keep up my Etsy shop. I'm only one person. I've been here at the building doing um, people taxes and financial booking and all that. So I'm almost, almost at the end of the year. I don't know why I said that to say this. Be patient, which is also in your money area. Something that you need to be patient about. Accept, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Do your, I just heard, do your due diligence. Fulfill your fiduciary duty or whatever that may be, or your trade or whatever. Um, if you feel things are too slow or things not picking up or going the way that you want it to be, working everything, just be patient. Everything will happen in divine timing. I'm really, really loving in your overall foundation. This is you. You are um, accepting and realizing that you are limited. You are limitless. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. You're being patient. You are accepting everything happens for a reason. You're going with the flow and divine order. I don't know about this love, though. What is going on with this love? Imagination fell out in reverse. And then we got guilt at the underlying energy. So reverse cards is always some type of karmic energy. This is either you or the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. Imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I just heard someone may be so full of guilt or... Oh, I just heard coming out of the illusion that something is possible. You're no longer imagining somebody is accepting reality about a relationship and or a person. And this could be you or the person you can deal with overall. Somebody feeling guilty about something that they did or didn't do. All right, what's, what else are the messages, Holy Spirit? Main female, abundance. You are the boss. I just also heard Spirit is absolutely proud of you. 
you are the main person. Oh, I just heard that you are, um, somebody's thinking about you and your love. I just heard that, um, you're kind of like the go-to person or maybe you are the sole provider, the matriarch of your family or your soul tribe. That's why you are limitless. I heard that you are a giver or a server. Now that's weird that imagination and thoughts with the Kepper fell out with love. I'm gonna come back to that. Some of you are very mature at work or you're dealing with a mature woman, an older feminine energy at work, or you're being mature and patient regarding a work situation or some money, or you are very mature and responsible with money. With this thoughts and imagination in reverse, someone is thinking the worst. I'm just gonna go back off of what I see, uh, uh, a masculine energy. They're having some not so good thoughts about a feminine energy. Cause this is, this is negative. Someone's thinking about something. I think it's a masculine thinking about a feminine energy. Imagination. It's karmic energy. They feel, oh, it's karmic energy because they're feeling guilty. Their mind is running a rug. They're making it more than it need to be. It is what it is. It, it will happen that's happened. But somebody is consuming their self with guilt and these negative thoughts in your love section. Or this could be you doing that. Let me take one of these to clarify more on love. I get some more clarity on love. What's going on here? For love? What's going on over here for love? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? Somebody is thinking about asking someone out for, oh, so we got a masculine energy. Could be someone new. Oh, I just heard this masculine energy is thinking negatively. Somebody masculine, ma masculine, ma so, some masculine energy. There's a masculine energy out here that thinks that you are out here dating someone new. Oh, and they're spying on you. It's a karmic relationship. This person, oh, that's why imagination negative. This person is feeling triggered. Someone has been feeling triggered and spying on you because they think that you're seeing someone else. Masculine energy, gender don't count, whatever it resonate with you. Okay, now that makes sense. I'm like, and what they're thinking about is absolutely wrong and, and could be true, could not be true. Okay. All right. We had two cards fell out. Justice with a page of uh, pinnacle. Someone in the re, uh, I just heard, uh, God, I just heard spirit say, I got you. I am God alone. You get some type of justice after, uh, some type of page or someone made a lie or lied about, 
or you are lied to about your um, abundance and who you are. The small offer was not it. You are the main female. Some people try to treat you like a page, like a child, or make you feel less than when you are that bitch or that man, that woman. What else, Holy Spirit? I just heard you, Lord, what they say, don't lower who you are to make others feel better. You are that main female. Oh, three of swords, straight up in love. Yeah, somebody is broken hearted or somebody feels guilty about breaking your heart and putting you in some type of third party or more situation. Now they're thinking that you um, out there getting back out there, meeting new people, karmic relationship. This person is spying on you. They feel guilty about what they put you through. You got a tower moment. This person is over consuming themselves with negative thoughts opposed to just communicating about what they done or what they did to hurt you or what you did to hurt them. And it's somebody about to explode any moment. That's the uh, tower in reverse. Is someone just holding all their emotions in and thinking the worst. Oh, you about to celebrate some new offer. Be patient. It's coming. I love this ace of cups, three of cups. I, I mean, I understand. Everybody want to know something. You are a mature woman. Because you are patient, you are about to celebrate. Your money is on point. That's why we got abundance in your foundation here. You are that main person, female. You are that bitch. People try to play you like you was a page. Underestimated you. Justice is going in your favor. God said, well done. Family room. Community, that family room is a community car. Ooh, main male. Mail. Privileged lady. Um... Main male to the female, maybe um, this is coming from a masculine energy. You're going to get some type of offer, some type of monies from a mature woman. Oh, be patient. Mature woman. I just heard um, this could be an inheritance. It could be um, a gift from a mature woman. Just be patient. You're going to be celebrating. Whatever it is, you're going to be celebrating. Job, offer, patience inheritance or whatever the heck it is it's coming people try to treat you like you was the page when you are the main female when you are limitless when you are abundant somebody who treated you bad is feeling guilty about the way they treated you they think of the worst they think you're dating someone else somebody is in a karmic relationship or this could be a karmic or you are the karmic Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. Yeah, this probably was a karmic relationship or a karmic situation, whatever you want to call it. Why is the time we're here in reverse? Somebody broke your heart at any moment. Something's about to get exposed, period. Yeah, something person's been juggling you walked away what's more on the let's just get down to it we know everybody goes, this money i don't even really need to go there yeah with the crossing right here i'm gonna put that in the middle with your foundations because it seemed like i just heard whatever this three of swords is whatever this guilt is and this person Juggling need to make some type of decision. In the meantime, while they trying to make a decision, they're consuming their thoughts, thinking that you are sleeping or dating or fucking or whatever with somebody else. Um, or this person did this to you, juggled you, chose a karmic over you, or like, again, you may be the karmic. There's nothing wrong with being, everybody has been a karmic before. Everybody has karmic lessons. Everybody has try to fill other cups before theirs it's it just life that's how you learn that's how you get wisdom that's how you grow but what is this person going back and forth in their head for they oh 
gonna drive themselves crazy. They're waiting for something to happen before they can offer some type of an apology or a cup of love. What's the fool cross between the money and the love? Because it's in the middle at the overall, your energy and you. Justice is in your favor either way. And love or money. Pay to the pinnacle in order somebody to treat with this. If it's applying to love. Someone looked at you as a page in reverse, as if you was nothing, or and or treated you as if you were nothing. Now they're feeling guilty about it. Okay. Oh, we got strength in reverse. Somebody's feeling cowardly because they know that you're the queen of swords. They're afraid of what you're going to say. Somebody want to work on something. Expect some type of communication coming in. Yeah, about walking away, moving towards common waters. Looks like you're moving towards, you've been patiently waiting on some type of abundance, some type of offer, some type of gift, some type of money. I don't know. This is a collective reading. What else we got here? What else you want me to know, Spirit? Oh, I don't even have 20 minutes. Yeah, you walk, somebody walked away because they failed to make a decision. Yeah, having you trapped up in your head and confused, yeah. You realize, mm, I'm just gonna say this, as far as love, somebody try to keep you confused, trapped up in your head, lying about a relationship or a situation that they have, may have been in. You realize that this person would never commit or never will try to work this out or make things right with you. So somebody made a decision to walk away or you want to communicate this to that person because it's not going anywhere. This person, you feel like this person using you. Yeah, with the lovers. Mm -hmm. Somebody got a family. It's therefore you cut them off or you need to cut this person off because they do have a family. There's, no, there's nothing moving forward with this individual with set boundaries. You deserve, and then you set boundaries, cut this person off that's still hiding or lying about a family and or some children that they may have. Or this could be your individual doing that, making some type of decision to cut something off. Either way to go, somebody walking away and setting up boundaries for they can have some type of transformation and new beginning. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go to another day. Somebody who knows they owe you an apology, they wanna give you some type of apology. Can I get the energy of the chariot here? What is the energy of this chariot here? The sun. The ten of pentacles. Somebody is not happy about a divorce or a separation. Or some money loss. Yeah, or a relationship. Yeah, somebody's no longer being trapped up in their head or refuse to get emotionally drained by a king of wands in reverse, a hoe, a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a user. That did not walk away and was holding back and was very, very karmic to you, unfair. Some type of secrets came out or will come out about this person. By a queen of cups in reverse, this could be the other person, other woman. Somebody they was in a relationship with the ten of cups right here. You know why? I think I know why I don't be on here this much. Because it's the same shit. It's like nobody wants to take accountability. Nobody wants to be loyal. Nobody wants to be committed. There are men out here that's like that. It is possible. But it's just like, you know, you just gotta let shit go. Accept people for they is. I have learned, or and still is currently learning that no matter how much you love a person, you cannot change them and you cannot force them to have integrity or accountability. Even if they know that they owe an apology, even if they know that they 
pulled you in some type of love triangle or three of swords. Now they're just waiting on the day. Somebody's going to have to watch you. Yeah, they are watching you. You set up some type of boundaries. And somebody know you, they owe you an apology. You're walking away from this because you don't want to be emotionally drained. You don't trust this individual. This person is in a relationship or or in some type of situation with ship with somebody else. I, I, I just heard they may have kids you don't know that, that you don't know about. Or maybe the new baby's on the way. They're still trying to hide things from you. Some type of communication is coming in. Somebody want to end something and start a new beginning, but I'm not sure if you feel that way, but... And be careful, I just heard, because this person could be just trying to do this because they see that you are abundant and you are moving forward towards your destiny and happiness. And your money looking real good over here. And your overall foundation. That's your money, your love, your energy. So you're getting grounded. This was a karmic lesson. It hurt you. You heal, but hey, you move forward. Amen. That's it. That's what I got for y'all. Tell me what you think. Like, share, comment. Please subscribe. And put some questions down there if you have any questions about accounting, tax action, business, or anything. And um, I'll try to come back on here and answer them for you. All right. Thank you for visiting my channel. God bless. Peace out. Congratulations on this new abundance.